Well, the gay community came out to Discovery Green to have a good time, but they were genuinely concerned when we asked them about uh, Justice Clarence Thomas's statements earlier today. The Rainbow on the Green event ended just about 10 minutes ago. Many of the folks we talked to here, though, said they fear years of progress could be undone. We're going to celebrate. Dozens came out for Rainbow on the Green, a celebration of pride which brought out folks from all across Houston. I'm very happy that I'm here, and Houston is a very diverse city, and uh, we got the chance to be able to uh, celebrate who we are. The event was about joy and a sense of community, but because of today's historic decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, there was also concern. Over the last decade, really, we've come so far, and to see these people wanting to try and reel us back and to take us back into a place that we have no business in being in is really just heart. Eric Bean is talking about the comments of Justice Clarence Thomas, who called for the court to reconsider its rulings, striking down state restrictions on contraceptives, state sodomy bans, and state prohibitions on same-sex marriage, saying, quote, we have a duty to correct the error established in those precedents. We all have our own lives to live, you know. This is supposed to be a country where uh, we, we separate church and state. So I'm not understanding why we constantly keep having these debates. Shevlin Williams came out to enjoy the night with her partner. She says the current state of what she called politics in our country is making her want to get involved. Honestly, myself, one day I want to run for office. And what will actually happen in the months and years uh, to come is still unknown. But one thing we know for sure is that it is weighing heavy on the minds of Houstonians. We're live from Discovery Green, Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News.